air brake on to video two so video one we installed plex we connected to our nas um, i showed you guys how to add an auto mount to the nas um, now we got to deal with tattooly we're going to need that oh i mean everybody should have tattooly i mean it's just, it's useful you know there's no reason not to um, this one is going to be pretty stupid simple to do you're going to do a snap because we installed snap as a prerequisite And then we just go out and let Snap do its thing. Uh, it's going to install whatever prerequisites it needs for Tattooly. And uh, we'll go from there. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and leave this running because this doesn't take too long. Um, for those who have not used it, this program is it's a web interface based thing. That will give you a nice statistical map out of everything. The cool thing is we're going to pull data using Varkin from that into an influx database. And from there, we'll be able to put it on the Grafana stuff. Um, the Varkin uh, screen itself, I don't like all of the stuff on there. There's a lot of stuff I don't utilize. Um, primarily things like uh, sonar and, and whatever. Um, so I'm going to be picking and choosing what I want. But you'll get the basic idea from it. So we're done with that. That's installed. So if I come back to my Plex page and I go Plex... I believe it was 8181. There it is. So we go next. We got to create a username. So we'll just keep it on par with what I've already got going on there. It's just, I don't care. And the password. And we're going to sign with Flex. And luckily, this will pick up the fact that, hey, I'm already signed in. And allow me to just right through. And now, server. Grab that one. We don't need that. It's not a remote. We'll do a verify. Make sure we can talk to it. Set up our defaults. Everything is pretty much just default. And we just let it go. And we sign in again. Again with your Plex account. And there we go. We got 65 movies pulled in. It's got a long ways to go. Um, but those are all in and we'll be back shortly with video three which is going to be installing the influx db